guys, it's Sam. So today, or yesterday, I got this package in the mail from uh, Urban Decay. And it's something rather interesting. It is their new Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Talk Coat. And this is the box it came in, so it's very snazzy. It also came with these little patches, which I thought was pretty cute. Like totally, what what is going on with life, guys? Everything that we did when we were young, it's all coming back. So like denim jackets with like patches on and all this stuff and jeans with patches. Like I literally used to um, iron those little like caterpillar and mushroom patches all over my pants. It's all coming back. Let me just kind of tell you what they are. Shade shifting top coat that you can put over cream, metalized, and matte shades of Vice lipstick or any Vice liquid lipstick to instantly morph your favorite colors. Make it look like you spent hours crafting an Instagram-worthy lip look or wear these shades alone. Our innovative formula provides long-lasting wear that never feels sticky and creates a water-resistant barrier that seals in the color underneath. Interesting. These are $18. They launch March 2017 and will be available at Sephora, Ulta Beauty, and select Macy's stores or online at Sephora.com, Ulta.com, Macy's.com, and UrbanDecay.com. And it says that it has marine filling spheres that have moisturizing and skin smoothing properties. And don't be surprised if your lips feel tingly just after applying this product, it's locking in the special effect. My lips did actually feel tingly. I just tried it for the first time just now. And right after I put it on, I was like, what is tingling on my lips? Like it did feel a little bit tingly, but it went away really quickly. So this is basically what one of them looks like. I am wearing litter which this is what the packaging looks like. So it's just their kind of like typical vice. It's a little bit more sparkly on the packaging. The bottom, it says the color. It also has the color all on the box. So like this one is white versus this one is red. So you can tell on the box what color you're getting. And then I actually really love the packaging of the like actual product because this is what it looks like. So it's actually really snazzy packaging. It's got that kind of just like light almost like white silver here and then you can see through because this is clear what you're getting so I like that because when you display them or have them in a drawer you know exactly what you're getting you don't have to open it to see and then on the bottom is just the color of the actual um, product but yes I like the packaging I think it's nice and you can see like how sparkly this one is this one's called litter I put it over um what one is this? This one is called Naked. This is a cream. This is a vice lipstick. But I have this one on and then I have the litter over the top and it kind of just creates, hopefully you guys can see, this like really cool kind of like green, do you see that there? It's like a green kind of sparkle effect. It basically just looks like I have a glitter on my lips. Like this one specifically, it doesn't, it's nothing like whoa out of this world it's just kind of like okay it's an easy way to put glitter on your lips and like actually make it stay um, so that is litter and I'm just gonna go ahead and start swatching these for you guys so litter is described as a iridescent glitter it comes on a brush and then you just brush on the top coat over whatever lipstick you have so you can see this one is kind of just like a green kind of glitter so next we have fever and you can see they're all very, uh, well, this one at least is very sparkly. This one kind of looks like it's going to be more of a peachy tone. I really do like the packaging. I think it opens really nice. The wand is nice and long, so it's easy to hold. So that is Fever. So it looks to me like it's a peach with a little bit of a kind of bluish pigment in it. Fever is described as a pink, red with green 3D sparkle and shift. It's actually a really pretty color. I like that one. So next we have, Bur I think it's Bruja, which is a very kind of deep burgundy shade. So that's what that one looks like. That one's like kind of so-so. It doesn't like it's excite me so much. It's just kind of like a burgundy, slightly shimmery color. These two are, in my opinion, much more exciting. Bruja is described as a berry with gold pearl. So next we have, what is this called? Seether. This one is described as a metallic red. So that one is very like orangey with a little bit of gold sparkle in it. 
Again, these two aren't like super exciting like these ones are to me. Okay, so now we have Copycat. This is described as a bright pink with iridescent glitter. I wouldn't say this is a bright pink. I'd say it's more like a berry pink. It does have some good sparkles in there though. Like it's definitely more of a berry toned pink, but it has a lot of pinky glitters in there. So I do like that one more than these two. I think this one is really fun. I think that would be really pretty over something else. Okay, so now we have Reverb. This is described as purple with shifty pink gold sparkle. Again, it's it's pretty, but it's like nothing super duper exciting. Um, I think I'm going to have to try some of these like on my lips because it's hard to tell when you just swatch them. Okay, so next we have Monarchy. This is a bright purple sparkle. So that is what that one looks like. It's just like a bright purple and it has purple sparkles in it. So it is actually really pretty. I think that would be really pretty over like a black. So now we have third degree. This is described as a gold glitter. And basically it is just a gold glitter. So that one's really pretty. I think that would be super fun over like a red. That's really cool. Okay, so now we have white lie. This is described as an iridescent white with a blue purple shift. That one's really pretty. I like that one a lot. It's got a really pretty kind of blue purple sparkle in there and it's nice and light. So I feel like it would really like transform a lighter shade. So I like that one. That one's like a unicorn. So now we have ritual. This is described as a smoky blue with iridescent 3D sparkle. You definitely have to work a lot to get the color to be like, you know, even. So that's the color. It is definitely a smoky. It's got a lot of purple in there. It's kind of cool. It's actually really pretty. Okay, and then last but not least, we have Circuit, which is described as a smoky green with iridescent sparkle. So that one is definitely just kind of green with, it almost looks like gold sparkle. So those are all the shades. So there's a couple that stand out. That one specifically stands out to me. The two top ones, I really like that peach one. That one's amazing. Um, that one's actually really pretty. The gold one and that one are the ones that kind of stand out to me. So I do want to play with a few of these and just see like how they look on the lips with other colors. They are recommending to do heroin lipstick with um, litter top coat, but I don't have heroin. And they're also saying to do blackmail liquid lipstick with monarchy. So on top of blackmail, is that blackmail? Yeah. I'm going to take ritual on the top and then I'm going to take circuit on the bottom and then we're going to see exactly what it looks like. Okay, so that is Ritual. So, you can see, it kind of like, as you move, you could see more. Like when you're just looking at it like this, it's like, okay. But as you move in the light to the side, see how you can see it a little bit more. So that's actually really pretty. It's like super mermaid lips. I, I can show you really good when I look like this. Like a weirdo. Okay, so now we're gonna put circuit on the bottom. Ooh. That's super fun. I'm actually really liking these more on top of lipsticks rather than alone. It says you can wear them alone or on top. It's obviously a top coat. I think that's where you get the most like excitement out of the project product. Darker the bottom layer, the cooler the top coat looks. So I feel like this looks really interesting. So unicorny. It's like a dark unicorn. So pretty. I really like that green one. I think it's like super duper awesome. Okay, so there you go, guys. I might just Snapchat these as I go. How do people get good lip swatches? Like, literally, I don't want to see up my nose. See, if you put it on the top lip, it's really hard to tell, like, what you... It, you can't tell because you need to, like, put your head up for the light. So, like, unless you're, like, talking like this, I would say focus most of it on the bottom because the top can't... You can't really see. Ha! Huh, this one shows it really good because then my lips look huge. I think if you have bigger lips, it definitely helps. That I actually really like. I think both of those are beautiful. I'm actually like liking these more. They do feel dry now that they're on. This one, these ones don't feel as chunky as the litter one does. 
these ones don't they feel like smooth to the touch so I like those ones a lot I think it does actually lock that bottom color because I literally cannot wipe it off so we might just have to do all of them over blackmail <laughs> so next we're gonna try monarchy and we're gonna put that on the top okay so that was what that's what monarchy looks like it's just kind of like a really fun like violet purple again on the top of it's tough unless you got big old lips it's hard because mine face down unless you're looking up but when you do look up it's amazing so if you've got huge lips I think this video would actually be better to, on, done on someone who has um, lip fillers <laughs> because on mine my lips there's not a whole lot of surface there Ooh, oh my god I love this one Okay, that one is amazing. What is that one? That's Reverb. I love Reverb. That one looks so cool on the bottom. I mean, they're both really cool, to be honest. Like, they both look amazing. But this one specifically has a lot of dimension. And especially over this blackmail, it looks really cool. Like, look how cool that looks. Both are super beautiful. I'm actually like now that I'm trying these on, I'm really liking them a lot more than when I was swatching. When I was swatching, I was kind of just like, you know what I mean? But these are actually really fun. So on the top, I am going to do Seether. And on the bottom, I'm going to do Copycat. So Seether is that kind of like orangey red shade with the gold. This is dry. Not yet. Hold on, we gotta let it dry a little bit. See there is going on top. Okay, so that just looks kind of like over the black meal, it almost looks like a burnt kind of orangey shade. It's kind of cool, actually. It's pretty fun. Now we're gonna take copycat and put that on the bottom. Okay, so that one is actually when you apply it over another color, because remember how I was saying that it describes as a bright pink, but it looks more like a like a berry? When you put it over at least this black male, it does actually look more of like a bright pink than a berry tone. Really beautiful. I actually prefer the copycat over black male specifically versus the what was it? Seether? I think the Seether is really pretty. It still gives you that really fun metallic -y red. But I think um, this one catches the light. It kind of looks, it's like a little bit more, there's a little bit more, like that one just looks more like a metallic orange, whereas this one is kind of more interesting. Really fun. Okay, so I like both of those. I think they're really beautiful. It seems like once they dry, they actually look a little bit more, they catch the light a little bit better and look a little bit prettier on. These ones, again, feel dry. They don't feel chunky or anything like that. They're really beautiful. I'm actually kind of like loving these now. They really do lock in the bottom coat. I'll tell you that much. I'm having a really hard time removing the bottom color. So now we're gonna take Bruja, that's gonna go on the bottom, and then we're gonna take Fever and we're gonna put that one on top. Mm. That one's really nothing special. That's the first one that I've kind of just been like, meh. It's pretty, but it's nothing that's like superly overly exciting. Now we're going to take Fever and we're going to put that on the top. Oh god, yes! That one literally looks like mermaid tails. My eye is like watering. It's like dripping down my face. Okay, so Fever for me, you have to get Fever. This, I feel like, over any color is going to be amazing. I'm actually going to swatch menace on my hand and we're gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna apply fever over that on my hand and we, we're gonna see what that looks like because I feel like fever 
you're going to be able to put over like pretty much any color and it's going to look absolutely amazing. Rouge, it's pretty. I mean, like I said, it, it, they look better as they dry. When you first apply them, they're kind of just like, eh. Look how pretty Fever is. When you move. I love Fever. Okay, I'm waiting for this to dry and then I'll put Fever over the pink one. Fever for me so far is the one that's like, ding! It's so much fun, it's unique, it just like brings your lipstick to a whole other level. I'm just gonna stick a little bit of that in the middle. Oh, Fever is amazing. I love Fever, that is like the coolest color ever. I'm gonna apply a little bit over. It's also super fun over that bright pink one too. So I think Fever is one of those colors that it's gonna look, it's gonna look super cool but super different over every color. I'm gonna try all three of these on this. So I think we're gonna do like a little bit of a mixture. So we have third degree, which is the gold one. And then we have the white lie and then we have the litter. So I might put the litter around the edges on the top or on the bottom maybe. And then the white line in the middle, we'll see. We're just gonna play with it. So, glad I did it over this color though, because I think this color really shows the true colors of these, like how awesome they can be. So, third degree, we're gonna put on the top. That's cool. It definitely looks more of like a green golden over this black male. So I think it would just depend on what you're putting it on top of. Ooh, I feel like you need to definitely wear these over a liquid lipstick. It says to put them over a, you can use them over just regular lipsticks like the cream or the um, metalized vice lipsticks. But honestly, I feel like you get a better finish and a better um, feel when they're over a liquid lipstick because that way it dries and then it's not like a creamy texture underneath because it felt very chunky and very glittery when I applied it that way versus applying it over the liquid lipsticks. They feel way better over the liquid lipsticks. So there's the gold that actually does look really cool. Very kind of like fun and like festive almost. I like that one. That's fun. Um, I'm gonna put the white light on this side and the litter on this side of the bottom and then we're just gonna see what those babies look like. So white light is like literally unicorn vibes. It's pinky, purpley, bluish, and it's so cool. Like I love white light. And then litter, litter is super fun too. It has like a lot of just green sparkle. Honestly though, out of the two lighter ones, I mean, they're very different. Like one is just straight up green and one of them is like purpley blue, like amazingness. I would say I like white light better just because I prefer that tone over the green sparkle, but I feel like over what I was wearing earlier, they just look so different depending on what is underneath. That white light is amazing. Like that is the coolest color. Such unicorn vibes. And that gold one, that third degree on the top looks amazing. Litter is very sheer. It doesn't put a color other than just a green glitter. The white light is quite opaque, so it really does like change the color of what you have underneath. And that gold one is kind of the same way as well. I feel like the litter is the, um, that's like almost like a top coat. Like it's the clearest of them all. It's just straight up green glitter. It looks like green glitter on everything that you put it on. Winners that I feel like you guys absolutely need to get are the Fever, that peachy one, that one's amazing. White Lie, absolutely love it, it's so beautiful. I also really liked that copycat. I thought that was really, really fun as well. And there was another purple one that I liked, what was it? The Reverb. But the green one looked really cool as well. 
Those are probably my favorites over Blackmail. I think those are really cool. The gold one though does look really cool as well. I think that would be really fun over a red lipstick at Christmas. That would be really fun. But this white lie for me, white lie and fever, absolutely. I say if you wanted to get any of these, I would stick with these two. The white lie and the fever are just so much fun. They're so beautiful. They're very transformative. And I would definitely recommend getting the Blackmail liquid lipstick from Urban Decay Vice. Because I feel like these look really cool over this color. Like you can get, you can create a lot of really fun looks using this specific color. But like I said, I would stick with putting these over a liquid lipstick versus a lipstick because I feel like any kind of creaminess or moisture that you have under these, they feel more textured than they are. They feel a little bit more glittery. Um, yeah, I, I they don't dry quite as well. So I say stick with a liquid lipstick as your base. Um, and then just play with these. You can put them just as a lip liner around. You can put them all over the lips. Um, you can kind of do a lot of fun stuff with them, but I think they're actually a really cool product. Now that I've played with them on my lips and I've done the lip swatches, on my hand, I thought they were fun. Like I said, they look a lot better once they dry. As they're still wet, they're not that exciting. So definitely be sure to let them dry before you judge them. Um, but I think once you put them on your lips, it's like a whole nother level and it's really, really fun. So I'm actually really excited about these. I think they're really fun. These are kind of really awesome for like festivals if you want to look a little bit, you know, out there and exciting and fun and artsy. This would be really fun to take to festivals because I think they're fun. It's like a really fun way to express yourself and just have a little bit of fun with your lipstick. Let's do the kiss test. Nothing. Nothing came off. I'm like making out with my hand and nothing is coming off. So they are kiss proof. I mean, I wouldn't be slobbering all over each other, but they're definitely kiss proof. They are definitely, you know, not going anywhere. Like they feel completely dry to the touch. I love this white lie. I want white lie. Like I literally, I mean, I have white lie, but like I want to be white lie. White lie is unicorn vibes. Okay, so I have put Menace, the liquid lipstick, all over my lips, and I really want to try out the Fever and the white lie because I feel like it's going to be so awesome on. So I'm going to put white lie on top. Doesn't look that great though when you're like just down. When you go like this, it looks amazing. You're just gonna walk around like this the whole time. You know, that's interesting because I, I do like it on this, but I actually preferred it over the black meal. I think this one actually looks better over a deeper, darker color versus pink. Because it still looks really fun. I mean, it's still very unicorn vibed. Like it's, I think as it's drying, it's probably looking better. Let's just let it dry and then we'll see. As it's drying, I'm actually liking it more. I think it's really fun. That is really fun. It's like kind of 80s, but like in a 2017 way. It's fun. It's totally fun. I think I prefer the white lie over the black mail. I think it looks cooler that way, but this is really fun this way too if you want to look like a unicorn. We're going to try Fever. I feel like Fever is going to look cool pretty amazing over this. Let's take a looky. Okay, so that is what the fever looks like over the menace. So I did put a little bit of Anarchy lip liner around the bottom just to see how it does over the lip liner. And it doesn't do quite as well over lip liner as it does over a liquid lipstick. So if you're trying to line your lips first, or if you're trying to line your lips with a liquid lipstick, I would definitely recommend doing the liner first and then doing the liquid lipstick over the top so that you coat the lip, the lip liner with the liquid lipstick. Otherwise, for some reason, it doesn't stick quite as well to the lip liner as it does to the liquid lipstick. So there's just a tip that I kind of just figured out just now. But I think that that fever over the, um, what was it? Menace? Menace liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh. Those two together are so fun. So beautiful. Really unicorny vibes. I mean like unicorny, unicorn vibes. That is like super fun for a festival. I feel like I definitely recommend at least getting two shades, um, to play with them and just like have fun and try them with different colors as your bases. Like I said, 
definitely do it with a liquid lipstick. I wouldn't recommend doing it with any other formula other than a liquid lipstick because then you it feels chunkier on the lips. It doesn't dry quite as well um, and you don't want it like transferring all over the place. Once you do it over a liquid lipstick, it doesn't transfer. It just stays exactly how it is and I feel like that's the best way to do it. So I love these guys. I'm actually really impressed. I was kind of skeptical at first. I was like, meh. But actually now that I've played with them, I think they're really cool. Okay guys, so there's my thoughts on the... Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Top Coat. Let me know in the comments below what color was your favorite and is this something that you would wear? Do you see, do you see yourself wearing this on an everyday basis or would it be kind of just like a every now and then for fun or would it be a never? Let us know, down, let us know, me, myself and I, let me know down below what your thoughts are on these. Hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you did find this helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!